Hi, this is Russell Stanger from teachertrainingvideos.com. I've got a really useful video for you today if you're interested in the idea of adding audio files to your Google Forms. So if you're making a Google quiz and you want the students perhaps to listen to something and then to answer some questions after, then this is gonna be a really useful video for you. Obviously, this is ideal for language teaching if you wanna create, create some kind of listening comprehension, but also good if you were, say, teaching history or geography and you wanted to record something and then get the students to answer some questions so what I'm going to do is show you one of the easiest ways to actually make an audio recording and then how you can link that into your Google form and then of course quickly how you make a Google form quiz and share it with your students hope you like the video and as always if you do please like it please share it with other teachers please leave any comments below and of course if you want to follow my work come over to teachertrainingvideos.com there's loads more free videos and you can sign up to the newsletter and keep up with all the blog posts the articles i write the webinars i run the new videos etc right let's get started now there are loads of free audio file systems around on the internet for doing recordings but this one is one i really like onlinevoicerecorder.com uh, if you've got more than one mic connected to your computer then just quickly click here and just make sure you've got the right microphone connected but apart from that all you literally do on this one is just click on this button here and start recording so what i'm going to do is just do a, a very simple recording Hi, my name is Russell Stannard and I was previously a language teacher uh, working in schools and then at university and now I train teachers in using technology. I can even pause and count continue. I run a website called teachertrainingvideos.com. Now, if once I've finished, I just click on the stop button and I've now made a recording. So let's play back the audio and just check it's working. Hi, my name is Russell Stannard and I was previously a language teacher and you can see that it's fine. Now there's one really nice thing about this technology as well, I can actually cut bits out. So if I wanted to cut out, say that part and start the recording only from here, uh, working in schools and then at university and now I train. Okay, so I can do that and I can actually do it the other end as well so I can cut bits out. Once I'm happy with my recording, I simply click on this button here, save. Now what's gonna happen is that is gonna save in your downloads, okay? So you will need to know when you save an audio file or when you save one of these files where your downloads are. Now in my case, because I'm using Google Chrome, I can actually click here and click on show in folder and I can clearly see that recording, okay? So you will know, need to know whether you're using a PC or Mac where your downloads are saved because what you're gonna do now, one very simple thing, just simply move that downloaded audio file into your Google Drive. And that's really important because then you can link it to your Google Forms super easily. Now one tip, wherever your download files are, just right click or however you do that and just rename it. So I'm gonna call this audio file talking about me okay simply because it's going to make it very easy when i drop that into my google drive for me to be able to find that audio file now all i need to do with that audio file now is to put it into my google drive so i'm just going to kind of minimize the uh the, the my download screen because what i'm going to need to do now is quickly jump over to my google drive and obviously if you don't know how to get to google drive if you're on your sign into your google account just click over here on your apps these are all the apps that you get with google and click on google drive okay and that will open up your google drive now all we need to do now is drop this audio file into our google drive and the way that google drive works makes it very very easy to do so what i'm going to do is going to make that a bit smaller so we've now got two kind of windows the first window obviously is where my audio file is and this second window is my Google Drive and what I normally do is go right to the bottom of the Google Drive just to make sure that when I drag that and you can actually just drag and drop which makes it really easy and that drags and drops that audio file directly into my 
Google Drive. And another little thing about the audio files that we've created, notice it's an MP3. It's quite a nice file uh, format. It's generally quite small. So when you use that free audio recorder, it does produce a pretty small audio file. So one good thing about audio files, once you've saved them into your Google Drive, and especially the audio file format that we're using here, if we just double click now on the recording, we can actually play it directly from our Google Drive. Stan Arga and I run a website called teachertrainingvideos.com. Okay, so that's really powerful. And then the other thing is if we right click, notice that we can now get the link and we'll be looking at that later in other words we can add a link into our google forms that will allow that audio file to play but you do need to be careful how you set it and i'll be showing you that in the next part so the next thing we need to do is to create a google form make it a quiz and then add that file in add our questions and then share it with the students so it's really easy we're going to go on to our google drive because click on new because obviously Google Drive has Google Forms going to come down to our Google Forms we're just going to make a blank one and we're going to call this new listening comprehension okay little tip here when you make uh, when you give a new title to a new Google form if you click here it will grab that title and use it and that will become the actual file name when you look for the file in your Google Drive. Now we're going to make this a kind of quiz so in other words or a formative assessment so we're going to actually make it that the students listen to the audio file and then answer the questions and they get immediate feedback did they get the answers wrong or right. So to do that the only thing I need to do is to click onto the Google form up here in settings go over to the quiz button and make sure I've set this to be a quiz and that that simply means that we need to tell the Google form what the correct answers are. Now one thing you can do is actually put the audio file at the top here. So I'm going to say listen to this audio and then answer the questions below. So really simple way and all I need to do now is make a bit of space. Now we need to add the link to the audio file here. Now what we need to do is to provide the link to the audio file. So we're going to come back to our Google Drive. We're going to right click over the audio file. And what we want actually, it doesn't really matter what either of these buttons will do, you want to click on get link. And what you want is to copy this link that will allow people to be able to view or in this case hear the file. So click on copy link, come back and we're gonna just paste in underneath the link to that audio file. Now, let's actually have a quick look at how that would look uh, in the view. So we can click on the preview and see that, and you can clearly see that the link is working. Now all we need to do is to begin to add the questions. You can close down the preview window, come back. Let's get editing now. So I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to just add one or two questions. So I'm going to quickly write in two multiple choice questions. So I've added my first question, what is the name of the presenter? And of course I have to tell Google which is the correct answer. So I need to tell it, well that's the actual the correct answer. And we do that by clicking on the answer key and then choosing Russell Stannard. And then we can add the feedback. So if you're incorrect, say no, the answer is Russell Stannard. And if you correct answer, I'm just going to put well done. So make sure you do that. Remember, when you make a quiz, you do need to tell Google what the correct answer is. Now I'm going to add one more question. All right, so I'm going to click on plus. In fact, I can decide how many points you get for getting that right. And I'm just going to click on plus and then ask another question. So I'll quickly write the question in. Again, I've put in three questions. I'm doing this fairly quickly. Obviously, when we make quizzes, we can add pictures. We can use lots of different question types, but I'm just doing multiple choice for this. And um, I will provide you link at the end to other Google Forms if you want to learn more about Google Forms. We need to put the answer key in. So again, we've got to say which is the correct answer, and the correct answer is his website is called Teacher Training Videos. Again, we add the feedback. Incorrect, we can say, no, it is Teacher training videos okay which is the name of the website on correct answer we're just going to say well done right we're nearly there okay so we've now produced our uh, quiz all done 
Okay, we can click on the done button. It's all done. We've got two questions. We've got an audio file. And if we was to click now on the preview button, we should see it's looking pretty good. I forgot to add in the points, so I'll do that now. It's going to come back and make sure that you get a certain number of points for the second question. So if we just cl click back onto here, okay, if I remember rightly, I can put in the answer key. I'm going to make sure that I've got five points for that one as well. Okay, so we're done again. And now we've got five points for the second one. So let's actually see now, how do we share this with our students? Now, this is where a lot of uh, teachers make a mistake. Click on the send button. And what you need to do in this particular case is to click here on the link. Okay, this is the link to the Google form. You can actually even make it shorter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that link. Now what I can do is I'm going to log in as a student now and we can actually see whether this works or not. So I've opened up another browser. I'm going to paste in that link at the top. So I'm, I'm imagining that I'm a student. I'm logging in. Okay, and it's going to open it up. There it is. Now we'll look what happens when I click on the audio file. It opens another window. I can play the audio. Stan Arda and I run a website called teachertrainingvideos.com. And then I can come back, I can close that down if I finish with it, and come back to the questions, put in my answer. So I'm going to put Russell Stannard first one, and we'll get the answer wrong for the second one. We'll submit, and we should get immediate feedback. And if we click here, um, we can see that we got the first answer right, but we got the second one wrong, and we can see what the correct answer is. And that is how you can add audio files very simply to a Google form, and then obviously set a quiz. Okay, really hope you find that useful. Please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's a great section on Google here with loads more videos and some great ones about Google Forms uh, if you want to learn more about Google Forms. If you want to follow my work, please sign up to the newsletter. That way you keep up with all the blog posts and the webinars and the online courses and, of course, the new videos. You can, of course, contact me or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click on the bell so you get the updates for the new videos. And finally, if you were thinking of asking me to do some training with your organization, then uh, obviously doing a lot of online training at the moment, then please contact me from the website. And thank you very much.